Jason, I'm so tired. Can we go now? Oh, jeez. Is that what time it is? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey, this morning I bought your book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read to you? Yes, please. <laughs> I must have left it in the other room. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here, and then we can go, okay? Sure, I'm on it. <laughs> so, where did he leave that book? Stop it, Aiden. It's not funny. Aiden? Are you doing that, Aiden? found it. Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. Jody? Jody, you okay? You look pale. She looks dead tired is how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her off to bed. Yes. Yes, hold on. Nathan, it's for you. Nathan Dawkins. Nathan? Nathan, what's up? My wife. That they were coming back from my mother's. Truck. Drunk driver. Wrong side of the road. They're dead. Jody, let's get you off to bed. You need to stay right here. I'll be right back. Come on, Jody. According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the Infoworld. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hailongjiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the Infoworld. That means they've found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and any other advanced technology you find. 
Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Well, building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the Info world and make sure that no one try to use it against us. I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will. Team? Show them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Good luck. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're going to find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the Infra world yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. Good to see you. For the mission's sake, I'll try and forget what a fucking bastard you are. Jody, I... You know what? Don't even try. Tired of all this. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Of course, I will kill you regardless. But it could have been fast and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. So, I ask you one last time Who do you work for? Where are you? It's completely deserted! You sure it's here? We're right on top of the coordinates. Now. Hey, Jody, ask Aiden to find a shelter somewhere. You hear that, Aiden? Got it. Let's go. Damn fishing village. Our informer duped us. That's what happened. 
We better get moving before they have to dig our frozen dead asses out of here. Three days, walking on ice, eating snow, for nothing. Fuck! I find the asshole that sent us here. Hey! Look, I'm sick and tired of hearing you complaining. That's all you have to say, then shut the fuck up! You guys, I'm freezing. You think maybe we could build a fire first and argue later? She's right. We'll set up camp here till the storm blows over. I'll contact HQ and get instructions. Did you get a connection? No, it's gonna take some time with the storm. You're still angry with me, huh? Look, it, it probably won't make you change your mind, but I regret what happened. You're right. It doesn't make me change my mind. I'm gonna go out. I'm desperate for a pee. You're a fucking genius. <laughs> Give me five minutes. Did you see that, Jody? Yeah. That's great work, guys. Don't go too far, okay? It's minus 40. I don't plan on doing any sightseeing. Thank you. 